Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I'm just starting out this channel. It's really quite new, just showing you guys different arts and crafts that I like to do in my spare time to see if any of you guys are interested in doing the same. Um, if there's anything that I've done already that you'd like to see more of, please comment down below. And the same if there's something you'd like to see me try, again, comment down below. I'm completely open to uh, suggestions. So with that said, today's video is all about how I upcycled a table that I found by a bin outside. Um, literally cost me nothing to do really apart from the Mod Podge glue and varnish that I used to secure the wallpaper to the top. I think it looks really effective and it's a great addition to our room. As you can see, this is what it looked like before and this is what it looked like afterwards. Um, really dramatic improvement and as I said, an afternoon of work, basically no money, so really pleased with the result. And without no further delays, let's get into the video. Okay, so I've given it a sand down so it's much smoother now, sanded the legs and everything as well. And I've just been making a template for the wallpaper that's going to go on top. So I've just um, placed a piece of paper on and then because I don't want it to go down the side, I've just been folding it along where I want it to stop and then I'll use it as a template to cut out the wallpaper. In the meantime, I'm going to start varnishing the legs with some clear varnish. So very glamorously, I've got my hand in a plastic bag, in a sock, and I'm just pushing the wood stain into the wood. And you can see already it's giving a much richer colour, so I'll just continue with this. So I did a lot of the wood staining yesterday evening, so it's looking pretty good. It's a nice colour now, kind of matches more with the rest of the furniture in my house. Uh, I probably would like it still a little bit darker, so I might just do another layer today as well. Uh, this morning I've just been working on the tabletop piece. So this is the wallpaper I've chosen. I've tried to get the pattern centred on the top and I've just been cutting around the edges to try and make sure it's as, well, it's obviously not on straight at the minute, but um, to make sure it's going to fit as nicely as possible. So I'll probably do another layer of wood staining and then I'll get to work with sealing this at the top of the table. I've finished cutting this top piece of wallpaper to the size that I want. So now I've got my Mod Podge. Uh, I've chosen this one, it's just a, about a quid more expensive than the usual ones because it's meant to be kind of wa more waterproof and I'm using it as a tabletop, so hopefully this will do the trick. I've got a slightly coarser brush here, which I'll be using to apply it on, then I've got a softer brush for when I'm doing the top here. So I've been reading the instructions and apparently I need to put a layer on the surface and on the underside of my wallpaper. Um, it's probably going to be quite difficult to, to film, but I'm basically going to be doing it in stages. So I'll start at one end and work my way across and try and make sure there's no air bubbles in there. We'll see how I get on. This stuff dries really quick. I've started doing the top there, but it's literally drying before I can even roll it down in time. So I'm probably going to have to put like another coat on here. But basically you can see what I'm doing. I'm kind of pressing it down nice and smooth at this side and just working my way down. This will hopefully try and stop air bubbles forming. As I'm kind of working it down, you can see the air bubbles are forming. I'm just using the softer brush, I don't know if you can see, just to kind of push the air bubbles away without damaging the surface of the uh, table. So I'll just keep working away at this. And now you've got it smooth. I'm just putting another layer on top with a smoother brush. I'm just trying to make it nice and even. Uh, finish on the top of here. So it's looking really good so far so I'm really excited for the final result. Hi everyone, so I've got the final result here. Uh, I'm basically in the window because it's so dark and dingy outside. Um, but I wanted to show you the final look today. So it's been a couple of days because I wanted to make sure that the Mod Podge was completely dry between each coat, even though it says it only takes about two or three hours between each coat to dry. Um, the rest of life gets in the way. So, as I say, here is the finished result. I'm so happy with it. It's got a really nice glossy finish. I've tried to pop a few things on here just so you can see just how high gloss it is. Makes it look so, so much more high end than I think it would do otherwise if it was matte. And this whole table has cost me probably about £10. As I said at the start of the video, the table I found by a bin outside my house. The wallpaper was just a free wallpaper sample from my local DIY store. And Otherwise, I've had to pay for the Mod Podge, which I think was about £8, and just the brushes that I've got as well for the project, so two, three pounds um, So I would say that's a pretty good deal, really. As I said, I'm so happy with it. I've not tried anything like this before, but it's something I'm going to definitely look into doing again. Um, if there's any other projects 
or similar that you'd like me to try um, or challenges of things you'd like me to recreate on a budget then definitely post down below otherwise of course if you enjoyed this video please like it and if you'd like to see more of these kind of DIY adventures then please subscribe and there'll be a lot more to come uh, great to have you on the journey and I'll see you next video